When the tragic day of the Duke of Edinburgh's death comes, the meticulously planned Operation Fourth Bridge will swing into action. The Queen will be the first person told if she is not by his bedside, followed by family members. The next person will be the head of the royal household, the Lord Chamberlain. The Lord Chamberlain will inform the British Prime Minister. Then the world at large will be told the news, likely through the national broadcaster, the BBC, depending on the time of day. Across the UK and Commonwealth, flags will be lowered to half-mast as a sign of respect. This will be all flags but one. The Royal Standard Flag, which is flown at royal residences when the monarch is present, will remain flying. This flag symbolizes the continuity of the monarchy and is only ever lowered when a sovereign passes away. On top of this, at the British Houses of Parliament, a black cloth will cover the ceremonial mace. Members of Parliament will either wear black ties or black armbands. From the day of his death, the Queen will enter an eight-day grief period. No laws will be passed during this time. Britain will then enter an official mourning period for 30 days. The entire royal family will assemble at Windsor to support the Queen. This part of the plan is dependent on COVID-19 restrictions. From the minute the news of the Duke's death breaks, any time we see a member of the House of Windsor, they will wear black for the mourning period. The family will cancel all social events they can with a question mark over some prearranged official engagements. Despite being entitled to a state funeral, Prince Philip requested people not to make a fuss over his funeral, opting for a more personal service. Before the funeral, his body will lie at St. James Palace. It is unlikely there will be any public viewing. The funeral itself will be held at St. George's Chapel at Windsor, with only family members and some heads of states in attendance. It is also unlikely that TV cameras would be allowed inside the chapel. His final resting place will be at Frogmore Gardens, which is where Queen Victoria and Prince Albert are also buried. Once Operation Fourth Bridge is complete, the Queen and the other royals will return to their duties.